Hey, this is Scott. Um, I just finished reading The Hobbit to my kids. Been reading it to them at nighttime over the last several months, or a few months, whatever. And um, and I had a request for some pictures of this book. Um, I originally had this one right here, so I've read through that one. Uh, but I wanted something more substantial for my kids uh, while I was going to be reading to them. Um, so this is just a, a regular paperback. I don't remember if I got a Target or somewhere else or whatever the case may be. And I, I do have this Lord of the Rings that uh, doesn't necessarily match it, but uh, it is the same publisher. And I'm thinking about getting a three volume set that's as nice as this right here because I really enjoyed this book. And uh, so here is a view of the text um, and people want to look at the pictures. Um, teachers, when you go on Amazon, teachers had reviewed this book and they really liked it. Um, and you'll see why in just a moment. This is a, a nice hardback edition. Uh, one thing that I, I'm, that uh, was a little bothersome is that uh, the, the hardcover, the board in here is taller. Uh, it it sticks out more up top and bottom than it does on the on the side. So you see how close the paper is to the edge of that. Not a real big deal, but uh, anyway. Um, so let me just open it up for you and give you a look at this book. It says first U.S. edition, printed Bosnia and Herzegovina. Uh, and illustrations by Jemima Catlin. And there it is right there as well. And she did those illustrations in 2013. Let me give you a good look at this map and I may be able to cut this in Final Cut Pro and add the other map to the same image for you or something like that, we'll see. Unexpected party, so, um, the paper is a bit glossy and, and thick and dense. That makes it nice to grab and uh, flip the page for you. It is it is glossy in the light, so you may be thinking, uh, you see that, glow, that glare from this light bulb right here? Um, yeah, there's a little bit of glare, so if you're in the classroom reading this to students, you could have glare while you read it. Let me try to breeze through this. Um, Give you a look at the pictures. It's really nicely illustrated. And also, there's a lot of poetry in here. And the poetry is offset in this gray font, uh, gray italicized font, which is nice. It's not easier to read for that reason, but it is offset. Here's a photo. There's that old smog. Okay, there's dishes. There's his pony. Uh -oh, there's those old trolls. They don't look like the movie, do they? Uh oh. Those trolls have been turned to stone. Misty Mountains. That's not the last lonely mountain. And there's Rivendell. There's those silly elves. The bridge. Oh, Elrond's looking at his map now. And he can see those moon runes. Uh, stone giants play a lot bigger role in the movie or a little bit bigger role in the movie than they do in the book uh oh they're prisoners now uh, and there's that mean old goblin king I'm trying to run away the riddles in the dark maybe Everyone's favorite couple of chapters here. And there's old Smeagol. Gollum. Look at the light 
uh, from his eyes, not uh, to his eyes, but from his eyes. And that sort of seems like uh, it reflects more of the author's uh, description of Gollum, like coming from his eyes. Oh, here, here are the, uh, here are the riddles. When his roots as nobody sees, as taller than trees, up, up it goes and yet never grows. He's got some good riddles here. Uh, I told my told some of these riddles to my kids while we were eating supper at the table, and uh, and now my little girl, Scarlett, she tries to copy these riddles, and she can't remember how they go. But this is her favorite one. Uh, what's inside the treasure box? So she's trying to do this one: a box without hinges, key, or lid, yet golden treasure inside is hid. What could that possibly be? Eggses. So you see about uh, every other page, every two or three pages, we've got another uh, illustration. There are the wargs. They're running away, climbing the trees. How are they gonna escape? There's a good one, full page illustration. And that one's set on fire, isn't he? And there is Gandalf, lighting his pine cones and throwing them down the tree. And here come the eagles. Uh, and, and why don't the eagles step in earlier? And use your help a long time ago. Look at that, full page, those are massive. Elbows riding that eagle, a little bit scared. There they go. Gandalf's gonna leave them behind. There's Bayorn, our, uh, our sentry, our, he's looking out over everything. Everybody's scared of him. Uh, by the way, in the movie, Bayorn escorts, I mean, in the book, he escorts Bilbo uh, and Gandalf back until he goes home. That's not in the movie at all. Um, oh yeah, more animals actually serving dishes. You don't see that in the movie. There's a Bayern with his hairy arms. There's an owl. Uh, Lake Town, the, uh, the birds can talk to the people. That's not in the movie. There's that bear watching over them as they go to Mirkwood. Uh, oh, and here they go. Into Mirkwood they go, and it's dark, dark. Uh, in the movie, you can still see stuff, because, of course, you have to see stuff for a movie. But in the book, it's pitch black, total darkness. And uh, there was this little river episode. That's not in the movie either. Or if you get stuck in that water, you'll just fall straight to sleep, like big old fat bomber does. Oh boy, he sure is sleepy. And there's those elves, and um, they spy on those elves and, and try to seek them for food and rescue. And then as soon as they go over there, enter their little circle, poof, they're gone. Uh oh, there's the spiders. And of course, Bilbo has a new courage, and he has Sting. There's Sting in his hand. All right. Oh, this is one of my, in the book, this is one of my, uh, in the movie, this is one of my favorite scenes, the barrel ride. Uh, of course, it's not that impressive in the book, because, you know, or it, I guess it is impressive, but it's more impressive in the movie, obviously. Put more story into it. And, um, at the end of this book, Bilbo gives uh, gives some uh, treasure to the elf king because he took his barrels and took his wine and stuff like that. Oh, there's that lonely mountain. Now they're ready to get home. They come out at the barrels at Lake Town. Finally get some food. Oh, they're all happy. Everyone's happy to send them to the Lonely Mountain. It means money for them. And then they take this boat ride over there. 
a little bit different in the movie. There's that thrush knocking. Oh, there's the secret door, my goodness. And gold, finally some gold. Other than the uh, gold that the three trolls had. Oh, there's that mean old Smaug. He does, he's, uh, as vicious as he is in the movie, he seems to be even more so in the book. Uh, he's vindictive, um, flies outside the mountain, hunts down their ponies, eats them. Not at home. Uh-oh, look what, look what Bilbo has found. The Arkenstone. Bats. Treasure. Oh, he got his mail. Uh, Elvish mail. They're Mithril, I believe. Fire and water. There's that old dragon. Oh, the dragon is going to Lake Town to burn it down. And there is um, our, our friend Bard. He's going to shoot down that dragon. And what happens to the dragon? Dead. And some of the jewels, the gems that he held around himself. All right. Oh, those, those dwarves don't want the elves coming in to get their stuff, do they? Thief in the night. Oh, look at that thief. Well, he is a thief, isn't he? He's a burglar. And now it's time for some war. Here come the friends, uh, the relatives to help out those, I guess it's 12 dwarves or 13 dwarves. Bilbo got bonked on the head and he uh, did not participate in the rest of the war there, the battle. Uh, this is the saddest part of the book. Bayern to the rescue. Of course, he's not to the rescue in the movie. And it's time to go home. Goodbye, Lonely Mountain. Last stage. He goes to Elrond's house again. Then he's headed home. And Bilbo is not the same, is he? Uh, my dear Bilbo, something is the matter with you. You're not the hobbit that you once were. And he's back home. And they're trying to sell all of his possessions, aren't they? And he gets a visit, actually. And here is our last map. And I told you I would turn it for you. And maybe I can get this map in the same picture with the first one. The end.